Well, I always said I would never ever do the Wedding Industry Awards ever again after not getting anywhere in 2018. 2018, I entered the Wedding Industry Awards and I generally believed that I was gonna win hands down. I'd been a wedding photographer for six years. I set my business up when I left the army in 2012. And like I said, I honestly thought I had it in the bag. I thought I was gonna win. I thought I was gonna win the whole thing. I didn't even re re uh, reach the regional finals. So how stupid was I to even think that? So initially I thought, wow, well, that's just a load of crap. I'm never gonna enter again. However, what it did was actually light a fuse in me. Made me look at myself, made me look at my business, and it's made me change. So initially after I made changes to my um, website, my social media, and I started going on workshops to better my skills. Towards the back end of 2019, I invested heavily in new photography equipment, new cameras, flashes, lenses. I spent 20 grand on new gear, okay? We then went into COVID and I didn't actually get to use my new cameras because of COVID until after lockdown one for uh, at a real wedding. So obviously we had lockdown one. Through lockdown one, I was still there trying to change stuff with the business, trying to make my business look more professional and more engaging to the clients, okay? As soon as we come out of lockdown one, I started um, going on more workshops. The workshops after lockdown one were more uh, off-camera flash. Um, and we also, I also set up my own style shoots so I could practice what I'd been learning and sort of bring myself back up to where I was and even better uh, prior to COVID. Um, so I wanted, I wanted to hit the ground running when, we, when wedding, we could do weddings again and I wanted to give my clients the best and I wanted to show everyone, you know, this is, this is the new Tommy James, okay? So after, uh, towards the back end of 2021, we'd had a good year, you know, solid year with weddings. Uh, my style had changed. I was getting loads of, of really good reviews from clients, guests, parents of the bride and groom, etc. Um, I decided to enter some awards. I wanted to test myself and see where I at, where I really was. So I entered the Guild of Photographers, I entered the Weddison Awards, and I entered Your Perfect Wedding Photographer. Now, granted, Your Perfect Wedding Photographer is more of a wedding directory, however, it has got the awards side to it. Now, with the Guild of Photographers, like I said, I entered in January. I've won multiple bronze awards every month since. With Weddison, I've won every month, bar one, since January. And with Your Perfect Wedding Photographer, I have had images selected every month since. So from a photography point of view, I'm working in the right direction. I'm nowhere near where I wanna be, and I'm definitely not the best photographer in my area or the UK, okay? But I'm working in the right direction. Um, I also, my business, uh, the feedback from clients is, um, you know, five stars all the time at the minute. And uh, we just get, I'm just getting better and better with um, a client service. You know, when you hire me as a, a wedding photographer, you don't just get a wedding photographer. I will give you 120% every wedding, okay? No matter whether they've had me for my smallest package or my biggest package, they all get treated the same. Okay, and I will give you 120%. On the day itself, obviously I'm a photographer, but I'm always I'm also there to help. I've got 11 years experience under my belt now in the wedding industry. I know how weddings should run. Um, so if I can intercept any form of stress or see anything going wrong on the day, I'll try and sort it out. So it makes sure that the clients have the best day they can possibly have. Photography wise, I always go above and beyond to get the images that I need. Since the, for the last two years, we found ourselves in muddy puddles, laying in muddy fields, in bushes. I found myself in a river at one point, all to get the best images for the client. So I do go above and beyond, and I will always go above and beyond. Now, 
I, with, with this video, I could have easily done you a slideshow of photos with some nice music, you know, the images changing to the beats and stuff. However, I've already submitted 10 images. You've, you can see my work. You can go and see my work on my Facebook, Instagram, etc. Okay. I wanted you to see more of me and who I am. Because you can read those questions over and over, but you're never going to get a true vision of that person. So this is me, Tommy James. I've now been doing a wedding photography for 11 years and I give 120% to all my clients. You only have to go and read my Google reviews and my Facebook reviews. Just one thing on the Facebook reviews though. You'll notice it's at 4.9. Go hunting for the three star review. But you'll have a bit of a giggle when you see it because it's an American lady that's decided to preach about God on my page in my review section. I've never done any work for her. I've never been to America. I don't believe she's been over here. She's not a guest. So if you want to giggle, go and find the free star. But it's been proven. You'll see in the comments, nothing to do with Tommy James photography. But yeah, you can see from my reviews, I give 120%. So... Do I think I'm going to win this time? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I really don't know whether I'm going to win. I've put a lot of hard work into the last four years of last entering. I've changed my business around a lot. Is it enough? Who knows? We'll see.